Hey there, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you guys are doing really well. This reading is going to be for the second part of September. Sorry, it's coming out right now, but at least it's better late than never. Kipper deck is what I'm going to pull from first, and we're just going to see what kind of reading is wanting to come out. <laughs> Courthouse. Courthouse. Okay, what else? Mature man. Toil and labor. That's in the reverse. Mature man. Thief. And toil and labor. Goodness. Okay, so what is going on? Has something been... This looks crucial on the journey. So what we're going to do is pull a Celtic cross because that's what I usually do when they look like they're going to be very complicated readings. <clears throat> Heavy energy today. Goodness. Virgo's energy is pretty, pretty dang heavy too. Messages for Capricorn, please tell us what the heck is going on. <laughs> this mature man in the reverse. Courthouse. Thief. And then toil and labor. Goodness. Notice the light in all of those. And then it lights up at the corner of that courthouse card too. <sighs> Somebody might owe somebody hours um, of work. Could be considered something until those are paid back or something like that. All right, we're going to, um, as we go, we're going to pull these as we go. So Capricorn, what is the issue with Capricorns? <laughs> Five of Cups in the reverse it has to do with letting go of things from the past Letting go of things from the past, letting go of issues from the past, uh, disappointment, sadness, regrets. Tell me about um, the challenge. The hanged one in reverse. A period of waiting is going to be over. It's going to be over. Queen of Coins in the reverse. At the heart of the matter. Hmm. So a period of waiting is a, a, the, the, the waiting to release this, this stuff from the past. Possibly is something that had to go through a courthouse. Um... And so maybe there's like a lot of different practical details that are kind of hard to keep up with. With the Queen of Coins in the reverse, it may feel like things are going kind of a mess um, with the practical stuff in life. Like those, those things that should be kind of solid, stable, like there's issues maybe with that or with resources. Tell me about the past energy. Six of Cups in the reverse. That was when um, we, either it's a parting of the ways or it's some healing on a family, soul family level, family level, uh, where the connections need healing majorly. And I'm looking at that sweet little cherubim here. Hmm. Soulmate and separation or healing things that need to happen. What's crowning you? What's crowning Capricorn's energy? Ten of Wands in the reverse because you just can't keep doing everything by yourself. you got to li uh, lighten the load. <clears throat> the Ten of Wands being in the reverse is like you're carrying too much or you're taking on too much. Tell me about um, the future energy. 
for Capricorn. The two of coins, so things could get very busy, but yet balanced. You could find yourself like really uh, having the ability to kind of just live here in the now moment from one moment to a mo uh, to the next moment and kind of enjoying that. Usually there's changes indicated around some kind of choices or decisions that you need to make. Um, tell me about how Capricorn's feeling. Tell me about how Capricorn's feeling. Eight of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Swords. You're feeling betrayed, let down. You're feeling like some kind of news that you've heard has made you upset. <sighs> Mainly because you're the wounded soldier here. Like you've, you've suffered a lot and somebody just kind of like betrayed you again or something like that. Tell me about in the environment. Yeah, it's what's being revealed, something being revealed to you with the moon card in reverse. Um, taking away illusions. This is like a, a serious real ending here. And this eight of wands in reverse could be that it's hard not to get upset. Okay, so that's that. What's the hope or fear? That something's not over. Death in the reverse. That something's not over, possibly. Or that something's resisting changing. Tell me about the outcome. Wow. You and Virgo almost got the same outcome because you got the three of coins in the reverse. Wow. Wow. And the eight of coins, eight, eight in your reading, eight of coins in the reverse, three of coins in the reverse. You'll do something yourself if you have to, because something feels like it's just not working out that well. You end up being successful, though. I have the king of wands, that energy, um, just to pull an extra for your outcome, um, is if you have to do something yourself, then you'll do it no problem you have the king's energy you know exactly what to do so it might be time for some kind of action is what i'm kind of getting with that let's um let's get some clarifying cards and let's find out um well for one thing at the heart of the matter is this queen of queens in reverse you could be feeling out of sorts like not like yourself tell me about this queen of coins in the reverse nine of pentacle in the reverse feel like somebody needs to make more effort or contribute more financially um the moon look i got eight of ones wanting to come out the moon here is is saying that all is not real clear at the moment Hmm. What's the Eight of Wands then? What kind of news was that? Other than knowing it's news of betrayal of some sort. Oh, it has to do with justice. Literally, the courthouse has to do with justice. Or it has to do with the scales needing to be balanced. Another Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. Um... There was too much to carry. You're carrying too much, especially with this, um, the scales of justice. <laughs> You're just carrying too much. There's so much that's an illusion. There's so much that needs to be seen or revealed. Tell me about uh, Ten of Wands crowning your energy. Queen of Cups, it's time for you to not take on everybody's stuff. You can't take on the weight of the whole world. You can start, you know, one one day at a time paying attention to, to your health and how you receive, maybe intuitively, how you receive your messages. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Coins. The Empress. Choices and decisions, but I'll tell you. The Empress is saying this energy here is going to make it all possible. Whatever it is that you're wanting to grow, build, 
whatever it is that you're wanting to birth to life, fruitful, thoughtful, successful. Yeah, you will be successful. So why is the death card in reverse for the fear or the hope? You might not want something to end. Hmm. You, well, it's about wanting end, end of games. End of games. There's the two of cups in the reverse, too. Meaning that there's a partnership that's just not going real well. Everybody's very tired that this games and fighting and the pettiness is not ending. So the fear would be that, that the partnerships fizzle, uh, fizzle out and that the aggression stays there right i think that's just a fear though i think your choice and your decision could lead you to something really good with this empress energy tell me about uh, what you'll do on your own if need be completely reinvent yourself not something little completely get over a big betrayal and reinvent yourself whatever it is reinventing it whether it's your finances your health who you are as a person, your relationships, it's going to be something that's completely going to be new to you. Look at all these tens. Ten, 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 ten. Two ten of wands, two ten of swords. And then another five of cups, and it's in the reverse, too. It's two five of cups in the reverse. So, like, you know what to appreciate, and you're happy for it. Why is the eight of pentacles uh, in the reverse here? Uh, page of cups something to there's going to be something to celebrate what you are able to do on your own don't get too overconfident with the strength card there because that is in the reverse there may be a leo energy that's not present at the moment a king of swords um having that information uh to be like an expert in something and then the king of pentacles in the reverse some kind of um, maybe even discipline action taken against somebody that has been kind of corrupt when it comes to money or with their money. Something cor corrupt, corrupt. But this is like a win after all of that. This is a win. And it's a hopeful. Yeah, it's a hopeful situation because here's this. This I need to have more confidence um, with the world card and the four of pentacles being appreciative of what you've got thinking about what you've got instead of what you don't have um that's coming out too so i have the world upright that means this is a new a new chapter it's it's a new something that is beginning for you and i like it i like it Hey Capricorn, if you need a private reading, just reach out to me in the description box below is how. And I am going to get your cards for you. Soul number, numerical symbol for what your heart desires. Eight, life, life path number eight, the financier, ruling planet Saturn. Clairvoyance, clear seeing. TV news media, TV news platform, spiritual purposes spiritual teacher, priest or priestess, and chakra healer, clearing and balancing. And that's what I've got for you. Sending you much light and love. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.